Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Investigate Blackguards 2. So, uh, Blackguards 2 was sent to me a little while ago. Uh, I've been kind of hoping to spend a little more time with it, sort of figure some stuff out about it, because I never actually played Blackguards 1, and I remember that coming out on Steam, and I actually heard very middling things about it, to say the least. But uh, here, let me uh, start the game from the beginning, and you can kind of take a, a look at it yourself. It its web close to a fire. It will either catch many moths, or its web will burn, and it will die. Maybe Cassia of Tenos had oh, no. her web to Not the kitty. To the fire. Not the kitty. Maybe she had promised oh. too much to too many people. Poor Mr. Kitty. This morning, she did not wake up in her soft bed. Hello? Hello? Be silent down there! Who is there? Why? You are dead, Cassia of Tenos. Dead people don't talk. Dead? What is this? Why am I down here? I demand an explanation. I'm only the watchdog, darling, and this dog doesn't give a shit about the why. What he cares about is silence. But why? Don't talk. So as you can see, the uh, the cutscene was rather interesting, and the, uh, the story aspect to it is told in a couple of different ways between... Uh, that's a sort of uh, storybook motif where you can actually see them flipping through pages and reading some stuff to you. And then uh, these little hub area scenes where, like, uh, as far as I know, combat just kind of doesn't happen. But uh, you get these little chances Hello? to talk to people. Still talking, are you? Like, uh, we'll uh, ask some I? questions. Take a guess, Cassia of Tenos. I don't know. What? A cheering crowd? The labyrinth below the arena. Right now, the gladiators fight against the nine hordes of your Kyrios, Marwan. They will die, just like you, only a little faster. So I can go through a bunch of these. You get a bunch of different uh, little uh, conversation decisions and everything. I did actually like this sort of return to form of like uh, just a simple dialogue decision. I'm just gonna keep my mouth There's shut. Spiders down here. Carapias. I don't think I like carapias. Don't blaspheme. They're supposed to be divine creatures. Their venom eats away at your body or your mind, just as the gods may choose. In three months, you'll either be insane or dead. I'd prefer dead. And uh, you can get a bit more out of him, and I think he's actually a little interesting. But uh, for now, I think we'll head into the other part of the game. And it's sort of the other section. You can take a look at this first. A bit more of the uh, storytelling aspects. Why had she been imprisoned? And why now? Cassian knew only that she had to escape. She gathered her courage and disappeared into the darkness. And it's sort of a little tutorial thing. It's pretty inclusive, all things considered. But to be honest, the... Uh, the, uh, there's not a lot of the gameplay yeah, that really needs that much explanation, that? necessarily. Uh, so it works on sort of a hex-based grid system, and when you go the furthest distance you can, or you interact with something, you end your turn, and then you activate enemies, and they take their turn. Uh, pretty simple stuff, not exactly an XCOM level of depth or anything like that. But, uh, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and activate this. Oops. What was that noise? And now we'll go break this box over here. And uh, if there are no other enemies, then you just take your turn again immediately, you know. And ta-da! Uh, for in case you're wondering what this is necessarily, you can hold down V and uh, 
highlight any interactable things, which was probably a good decision, if only because, like, some of this stuff does kind of blend into the background somewhat, especially if you're not... It, especially if you're like me and you didn't play the original game, so you maybe wouldn't exactly know what's going on with any of this. So let's, uh... Get over here. And... Lever? Nope. Go away! Go away! Why does it have to be spiders? She's not particularly a fan of spiders. Now they're all surrounding me. Like the jerks they are. As spiders often are. Okay. And it'll actually show your percentage of... I don't know if that's how much damage you'll... Uh, like, you'll do 100% of their health, or if it's 100% chance of kill, or what. I haven't quite spent enough time with it to really figure that out just yet. He's dead. <laughs> Ah! No, no, don't bite. Please don't bite. Ah! Why me? Why? Why? I never heard terrible things about uh about black guards. It was more that like the biggest thing anyone really had to say about that was just sort of that the story is where that game was shining, as opposed to the gameplay or uh, any real set of mechanics, necessarily. And you can sort of, uh, if that view isn't to your liking, you can use the mouse wheel to sort of uh, give yourself a bit more of a overview if you want, or even just like straight up like that, if you wish. This is a little bit more thematic, though. I kind of like it. You really see the shadows play off of her spider murder. Ow. Take that. Fear my stick. Man, this is reminding me more and more of college every day I play it. It's a nice Saturday night. There's ominous music playing. I'm gonna drink from some healing water. Thank you. I thank the healing water. Oh yeah, I have to... For whatever reason in the world, I have to drink from both of these before I'm allowed to open this chest. Which I did not understand. But who cares? Saturday night, I'm hot. It's out on the town. I don't need to know nothing. And I also don't remember if there's some more spiders this way. A book. And then I think maybe that ends the mission, actually. Yep. Uh, so that's also kind of interesting is that when you open the uh, chests and everything, you don't actually get to see what it is you got until after you finish the said area. Uh, let's take all that, I guess. It's probably trash, but I don't have anything Cassia to do with it did, yet. Wherever she searched, all paths eventually led back to where she started, tired and sore from the spider bites she turned to the only distraction she had found. Weeks later! What I love that. Reading? Since when are you interested in what I'm doing? I'm not. Just don't like the rustling of pages. Sounds like a knife cutting meat. It's called The Good Ruler, by someone called Dexter Nemrod. Sounds boring. Better than the stupid chit-chat of a mutt. Yeah. And as you can see, there's a. Uh, it talks a bit more about towns and uh, conversations, merchants, things like that. All well and good. And I think you can still. Uh, oh, yeah, you can uh, use V to actually make everything go away if you just sort of want to click as you please or not have anything cluttering up your. your uh, little collection here. I should. No, 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 no. I will not begin talking to myself. That's exactly how it begins. Why, 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 why? No. No talking to myself. Not going insane. Or maybe I should. Because if I don't... Why, 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 why? <laughs> and then I can also learn some stuff from the book. And uh, conveniently, 
it is just enough for me to learn all of these different skills here and pretty traditional skill trees all things considered so let's uh, learn all these and then we're good then uh, special maneuvers special abilities special maneuvers spells talents to weapon talents so yeah if you can guess this is uh, this is a pretty extensive uh, can I learn more? Nope. Okay. This is a pretty extensive bit of uh, old school RPG here between all these different screens and everything. Very, very old school. Uh, if I remember right, this is actually part of the Dark Eye uh, series, which, if you don't remember that, um, uh, what was. Uh, uh, with it, there was there was uh, there was one around I think the PS2 era. Uh, it was something the Dark Eye, and if I remember right, there was actually a really weird subplot with it where like uh, where like a brother and sister uh, have sexual intercourse with each other or something. It was really strange, very 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 strange. Uh, but man, if you've been missing uh, old school. RPG mechanics and things like that. Look no further than here. No um, one. And uh, you know, from from what I understand, the story and all this is rather interesting. And I have to admit, considering I'm fairly certain this is a uh, uh, non-English speaking developers, I might be wrong about that. But uh, if it is, this uh, the voice acting, all things considered, is pretty good. Um, and I've heard the story really is where it's at, and we'll uh, we'll do one more she path through the labyrinth, and then we'll probably call it good. Her fear, like moths, her thoughts circle. Marwan, a word. Oh, that was a little weird. Normally the audio doesn't bug out like that. Left, right. Yes. Yes, sir. I've never been here before. There's a light up there. A little bit of a labyrinth. I think she's uh, slowly trying to find her way out is the uh, main thing here. Oh yeah, this one also introduces an interesting thing with these uh, little pillars you have to time correctly in order to uh, make it through where you're gonna, yeah, see, you receive a massive amount of damage. Oh, come on. There. And then there. I forget how to end my turn. Um, I just, I remembered it not long ago. Come on. There we go. Woo! This might help. Come on. Oh my lord. Please, God. Maybe I have to wait a turn. Yeah, there we go. That works better. Uh oh. Ow. Ow. Damn little bastards. Uh. And how about another one? <laughs> so if you can guess, this gets a little bit more complicated as things continue. Oh my god, come on. Oh, there we go. Cool. There is a there is an actual thing to Ooh crap. Then yeah, I think I just have to wait a turn here. There we go. Did it! And there's a spider over there. There's also some healing water. That's good. That'll be just fine. Actually, if I remember right, you can actually just wait near the fire and trick them to just go straight through the fire and kill themselves. Which is pretty funny. <laughs> oh no! Ah! Little asshole. Let's get rid of this guy. He's a joik! I think that might actually be a lever for uh, some bonus stuff. Uh. 
Merlin, a word. Yeah, I think that's probably just a straight up bug or something, because I've that, that didn't happen to me the last time I was through here. Pull that lever. Perfect. And there's some spiders over there. I don't like them very much. So we'll murder them. Get to that. And then uh, through here. Hey, I guess. <coughs> oh, sorry, I had to sneeze. Ah. Anyway, let's head on over this way. We can. It's nice uh, since you don't have a direct attachment to uh, your character specifically, and uh, they had the good foresight of uh, letting you sort of. Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, they, uh, and there's even the little, like, victory pad or whatever. You just have to get there to win the stage or whatever. It's some interesting stuff. Interesting stuff, indeed. I think we'll head back this way, since the spiders will probably get to me at this point. Good to at least funnel them in a way that'll make it a little harder for them to gang up on me. I don't know if it's included in all versions, but uh, the version they gave me uh, actually came with the soundtrack and like an art book and a guide, which was super interesting. Yeah, I don't normally run into stuff like that, but uh, but uh, I had to flip through it, and uh, it's pretty good. The uh, soundtrack's pretty interesting. Right now, it's a little uh, a little on the mess side, but you know, it it uh, it builds up a little bit later and stuff that I'm assuming is probably for some later stages in the game, and it's uh, it's interesting. I think it's interesting. Okay. Got ourselves the big fat loot. We'll head over this way. Cassia's turn ends. Head over here. And turn. Do -do -do. A little bit more water for myself. My turn again. Pull that. Yes. We're doing swimmingly here. Ah, bad timing on my part. Okay. Cool. There's some spiders over here. Nope. Not yet, anyway. Do to do. <laughs> so I bet that lever probably opens. Either opens both or it's going to open that one. I don't know. Turn. There's probably a hotkey for that. I think you can also just. Yeah, you can just straight up set up hotkeys. Uh, pull that lever. Over that way, Cassia. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, yeah, so it did open both, so this one is just for the bonus treasure chest, but uh, we like ourselves some fat loot since we like playing RPGs in this house, so. For whatever that's worth, I guess. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh oh. Damn you, spider. You're not getting my treasure. Wada! He's dead as can be. Oh, crap. Why'd I do that? Come on. I think I was almost hoping that it would, like, do its turn and end my turn directly afterwards, or something. I guess. I don't know. Who knows? Not back this way. Do, 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 do. It's not gonna walk me into spikes, spikes, right? Yep. All good. 
Everything is all right. Yeah, everything is all right. Yeah, everything is all right. Um, I don't remember if the original Blackguard came out on anything else besides PC, did it? I don't think it did, but, uh, I don't know otherwise. And, uh, as far as I'm aware, uh, maybe you just have to end your turn on this spot. Yeah, that's it. Oh no! No! Ah, uh, uh, oh, she's upset. You won the battle! <laughs> By screaming at yourself, you won the battle. We're gonna take all those goodies. Years passed. The spider venom devoured her mind. Devoured all her wishes until only one was left. One single throbbing urge. To rule. To rule over everything and everyone. Even if only for a day. I'm almost wondering if uh, maybe this is setting up like the main villain for the thing. Maybe it's pulling off like a... I really hate... I keep bringing this up as like a comparison, but... Uh, but... Uh, uh, the fucking... What is it? Uh, yeah, Assassin's Creed 3. I really hate bringing that up as a comparison all the time, but... Uh, Maybe it's setting up sort of an Assassin's Creed 3 of having you play as, like, the, the game's villain first, as a bit of, like, a... You will need me too. As a bit of a... thing. I guess that guard's gone away. Do 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 do. Let's see special abilities. Dodge. There's ability to do, 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 do. small bonus to dodge. Do, do, do. Endurance regeneration. Endurance vitality. Uh, yeah, dual wielding is pretty cool. Let's uh, let's learn that one that one that one that one and uh that one let's see anything else we can afford oh, yeah we can afford some of this stuff yeah that's fine that's just fine talk to yourself Sleep. She lets her enemies sleep. Plans dark and obscure as night. I may need some help. I'm talking to myself again. Understandable. A silent Legion, maybe. The gladiators. Huh. <laughs> yeah, as uh, from what else I've seen, uh... it's over. Marwan has won. The creatures of the creators have overrun the land. The council has been disbanded. Who would have thought it? Great Emir Marwan. Or first Kyrius, as he's dubbed himself. What is it? Are you dead? Yes, yes, I know you're reading, even though you're not even looking at your damn book. Those creatures, Cassia, you should see them. Things from the Thirteen Hells. They put one of the beasts into the labyrinth a few days ago. They call it the Great Petrifier, a basilisk or some such nonsense. Stay on your guard down there. You've made it much longer than anyone else. I've been bored without you. What is it? It's down here. The basilisk? Oh, don't worry. It's somewhere on the other side. Who feeds it? How would I know? Marwan's soldiers? Why? Someone has to feed it. If someone feeds it, there has to be an exit. Well, there you go. So you have to search for the Petrifier, and it's probably the first boss of the game, and then you escape, and you go on your merry way for the adventure. So, uh, I think this has been, like, a good little taste. This is, uh, Blackguards 2. It was, uh, 
it's been a very interesting little experience, and uh, it's made me just curious enough that I think if it's on sale, I might actually pick up Blackguards 1, because uh, there's some interesting stuff here, and especially if the game's story presentation is anything like this one, I might actually find something rather interesting about this. So, uh, for whatever that's worth, I don't really know if that's the best recommendation in the world, but... All things considered, I've found it a rather interesting experience. Let's, uh... Save that. Yeah, that works. Uh, and also, for whatever reason in the world, I keep messing around with the video settings, and I can't get this game to run in a 16x9 resolution. It always just refuses to and goes to 16x10. I don't get it. I don't know why. If that bothers you, then... I guess buyer beware, I guess. Uh, but, uh, yeah. This has been Blackguards 2, and I'll see you all next time.